You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. Hi guys! So today I'm going to film the common white girl tag. I've just been sitting here in my room all day because I had a day off work and I was kind of bored so I figured I might as well film a video and I noticed that I haven't filmed a tag video in a really long time. I used to actually do a lot of them on my channel because I really love filming them. It's pretty cool to like tell you guys random facts about me and just like answer the random questions and stuff because some of them are different and it tells you guys a little bit more about me. Um, so I checked my subscriptions and I noticed that this one was going around a couple weeks ago and it actually looks like it's pretty funny so I figured that I should give it a shot. But yeah, if you guys are interested in watching my version of the common white girl tag, then just keep watching because I'm just going to get started on it. Um, I drink a lot of different drinks from Starbucks. I get a lot of different frappuccinos, but I would say that my favorite drinks are probably chai tea lattes with soy milk. I get them both iced and hot, um, and I like them both, like, either way. And then I also really like their passion tea lemonades and stuff like that. Like, I've had the black tea lemonade, and I've had a peach one. And then I think I've had like a passion tea lemonade or something like that. But I really like those two. I drink those a lot. So I'd say that those would have to be my favorite drinks from Starbucks. Um, I would say it probably takes me about an hour to an hour and a half to get fully ready. I can motor it if I have to. Like some mornings I'll sleep in a little bit um, extra and then I have to like get ready in like 45 minutes or so for work. But if I'm really taking my time and doing everything from start to finish, then it can take me up to like an hour and a half, maybe even two hours if I'm pushing it and like getting sidetracked and like singing and stuff in between. Um, but yeah, on average, I'm just going to say an hour to an hour and a half to get ready. I don't think that I take selfies on a daily basis. I'd say I do like two to three a week, probably. I definitely don't take them every single day, though. I know that for a fact. I would have way more Instagram pictures if I did that. I like to do them to show you guys my makeup or whatever, but I'm definitely guilty of taking selfies. I don't see anything wrong with it. Some girls think it's like a big deal and they're all like against selfies. I really have no problem with selfies. I like seeing other people's selfies and I like taking selfies. So I'm definitely guilty, but I don't do it every single day. So I guess that's good. <laughs> So I have 31,000 followers and I have 273 photos. That seems pretty low to me. Like I look at other people's Instagram profiles and they have like a thousand photos. So I don't think I post as much as everybody else does because I don't even have 300 yet, which is crazy. I've had Instagram for I think over a year now because I think I got it like last August. So it's been a little bit over a year now, but I think I post quite a bit. I definitely post a few times a week. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah, that's how many I have. <laughs> Um, I don't think that I do, at least not that I'm aware of. I really thought about this one and I'm pretty sure that I like never say either of those out loud. But if you guys know me and you've talked to me in person before, you should let me know because if I do say them, I'm definitely not conscious of it. I know that I definitely text them, like I always say LOL and OMG in text messages, but I don't think that I ever say it out loud like in real life. So yeah, not that I'm aware of. <laughs> Um, yes, I think that it's weird not to. I mean, if I was like filthy and I was like outside doing something, I probably would. Or if I was like sitting around a campfire or something and like getting smoke all over me, I definitely would wash it before wearing it again. But other than that, um, I definitely will wear like the same pair of jeans or something twice, like within a couple days of each other because I don't really do anything that would make them get dirty. So I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I think it w I would be doing laundry 24 seven if I didn't wear stuff more than once without washing it. So I don't know if that's normal or not, but that's what I do. <laughs> I have 1,506 tweets, so I don't know if that's average or not. I think that I tweet an average amount, like there's definitely days that go by where I won't tweet at all, and then there's days where I'll tweet like a couple times, so yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of up and down with it, but that's how many tweets I have. 
I never use Tumblr, so that's totally out of the question. Um, I would have to say that I prefer Twitter over Instagram just because I can interact with you guys easier on Twitter. And Twitter's also, I guess, just an easier way to see what people are doing. And there's a lot of like funny tweets and stuff. Like some people tweet really funny things and then there's like really funny retweets and stuff like that. So I would say like Twitter's more entertaining to me and it's also an easier way for me to talk to you guys. So I would say that I like Twitter better than Instagram, but I'm still totally obsessed with Instagram. So don't get me wrong. It's probably like a really close second, but I think that I would say I like Twitter more just for those reasons. Um, I definitely would say that I spend a lot of my time working. I work on average 42 hours a week, so that's about 5 out of 7 days a week, which is quite a bit. Um, other than that, on my days off, I like to clean my room and get laundry done and stuff like that. A lot of cleaning happening. What else do I do? Film. I've been filming more lately. Hopefully you guys are noticing that. This is like my third video in like two weeks, which is pretty good. So I've been doing that more lately. And I guess, yeah, just hanging out with my family and my boyfriend and work. That's pretty much all I do. Um, I've said this 600 times and I'll probably say it 600 more times on my channel, but I am completely obsessed with Nicole Guerrero's videos. She is by far my all-time favorite YouTuber. I'm actually to the point where like she'll put up a new video and I actually will like drop anything that I'm doing to watch her video. So she's definitely top on my list for favorite YouTubers. Other than that, I probably would say I like Jaclyn Hill a lot. I think she's super talented and her tutorials are amazing. I also really like Shan XO. She is like a New Zealand um, beauty guru and she's amazing. She does super beautiful looks. I really like her as well. Um, I watch a lot of like Beauty Baby 44. I like Kara Amelie 08 a lot. She was the first person I ever subscribed to. I really like her vlogs. I like It's Judy's Life vlogs, of course. I think everybody watches those. Who else do I like? I love Hot Brilliance or Hope Brilliance, like Aspirin. She's very beautiful and I think she's really funny. And I like Marissa Lace a lot too. She's super nice and I follow her on Twitter and I've talked to her a little bit. But I think that she's really talented too and she's going to like beauty school just like I did. So it's kind of fun to watch her. She does vlogs and stuff. So I don't know, I have a lot of favorites but that's just a few of them for you guys. I would say Nicole Guerrero and Jacqueline Hill are my favorites but Nicole Guerrero definitely takes the cake for like favorite YouTuber. <laughs> Um, that depends, I guess. Sometimes I'll do my nails like two to three times a week and I'll just keep doing them like back to back. And then there's other times where I don't do them at all. Like I haven't had my nails painted in probably two to two and a half weeks. So I'm not really that consistent with painting my nails. Sometimes I'm obsessed with it and I have to have them painted for like a couple times in a row and then other times I just don't really have time for it. So I guess I can't really answer that question because I'm pretty inconsistent with painting my nails. Yes, I'm a complete shopaholic. I'm absolutely terrible at saving my money. I don't save barely any money because I justify every single purchase that I make. I do a lot of online shopping, not a lot of clothing shopping, but I do a lot of makeup shopping. I'm completely obsessed with makeup, of course, and I'm trying harder to save money, but I just always find a way to like tell myself that it's okay to make one more purchase, and then I end up making like 10 more purchases instead, and then I'm broke again. So yeah, shopaholic problems for sure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say I've watched Mean Girls probably like 20 times. I think it came out like a long time ago. I'm pretty sure it's been out for like 10 years. And I would say I've watched it like 20 times, maybe even more than that since it's been out. I used to watch it a lot, like I just watched it like three months ago with my friend. So Mean Girls for me will never get old. I find it absolutely hilarious and I still quote it all the time much like a lot of other people do, but yeah I'd say like around 20 times. I wouldn't say I own a lot of clothes. I think that I probably own like an average amount of clothes for a girl. I don't know. 
Um, yeah, okay, yeah, I have a lot of clothes, but I think it is average for the amount of clothes that a 19-year-old girl would have who's obsessed with fashion and beauty. I think I definitely spend more of my money on makeup than I do clothes, but I have a lot of clothes from, like, the past years, and I still shop a lot. Yeah, I definitely don't have, like, a shortage of clothes or anything like that. I think I'm doing pretty good for my clothes collection. Um, I don't think that I do. I haven't done that in quite a while, but it also doesn't bother me when other people do. Like, I don't really have anything against people who take pictures of their food because sometimes somebody will post a picture of food and then I really want that food and it'll kind of give me inspiration for what I'm going to eat that day. So I really don't have any problems with, like, food pictures, but I don't think I really take them myself because I never eat anything that special. I think I probably used to take them a lot more so... Um, yeah, I don't think I really take that many pictures of my food now. I would say I do. I definitely wear it every single day that I work, so that's at least five out of seven days a week. And on my days off, I mean, there's not many days where I'm just sitting around doing absolutely nothing. Like, I usually will go out and do something, like even go to the mall or something like that. So I would say I wear it every single day. That's probably bad, but... Um, yeah, I think I do. I don't know. Maybe that's bad for my skin, but my skin's pretty clear, so I guess it can't be that bad. I think I do wear makeup every single day, though. Um, I'm not in school anymore. I graduated high school in 2011, so I'm going on three years of not being in school. When I was in high school, I got, like, average 70s and 80s, stuff like that. I never really was, like, a 90s person. But um, I think I had like average to maybe a little bit above average grades. And then in beauty school, I had like high 80s, um, high 90s. So I did pretty well with that. But that's because that's like my forte. So yeah. Um, like this, I pretty much have my hair like this every single day. I basically straighten it and then I just like push it back with my fingers. I don't really even have like a part or anything like that. Um, that's what I do with it on a daily basis. Sometimes I'll curl it. I have been curling it a little bit more lately, but I don't know if I've ever curled it for a video. Maybe just one video. So I should start doing that more often because I actually have a lot of curling irons. So that's definitely how I wear my hair most often. I try to. I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't try to, but there's definitely times where, like, I'll go out to the grocery store or to pick somebody up or something like that with, like, my hair up and no makeup on and some pajamas on. I don't know if that's considered unpresentable, but I would never go to work or something like that. Like, if I'm going to work or somewhere that I have to be presentable, I'm always presentable. So... Yeah, I guess presentable. I always like to have myself be a little bit dolled up, so yeah, I don't know what unpresentable would be considered. I don't really go out with like ripped clothes on or anything like that, so yeah, I think I'm always presentable. So that is it for the common white girl tag. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed filming it. And if you guys have any questions for me, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to answer them for you guys. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and check out the other channels that I mentioned I'll have them all down below for you guys. Um, I love you all so much I hope you're all having an amazing day wherever you are and I will talk to you guys all in my next video